Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Keith Deeprom. I'm one of the tennis pros here at uh, the Jewish Community Center. And I'm here with Eric and uh, George and Enrique and Paul. And we are to, uh, going to talk about um, lateral movement on the baseline, uh, uh, hitting forehands and backhands. Uh, obviously, using the feet correctly for different kinds of shots that, that uh, come to your forehand or backhand, or different uh, heights, different speeds, and that kind of thing. It's very important to be able to get behind the ball uh, so that you can make a, a really good shot, uh, whether you do it offensively or whether you do it on defense. So um, we are going to do that today, and um, I'm going to demonstrate the different kinds of footwork for you, and um, then we'll try and uh, uh, get either um, Eric and George and Paul to maybe hit some balls um, and show you how that's done. So let's start right now um, with the forehand. There are four kinds of footwork on your right side and four kinds of footwork on your left side. And basically they are the same, except that uh, the one kind of footwork is not used as much because it's um, a kind of a ball that you get that's a little bit short and it's coming fast, so you have to move a little bit quicker. So um, I'm gonna demonstrate for you the different kinds of footwork. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, first uh, footwork that we use is um, a ball that's coming to your right, and it's not that hard, and it's uh, not too far away. So you'll do what they call the shuffle. And on the second uh, step, you will turn your shoulders and step in and swing your racket, then shuffle back. One, two, turn and swing. And the same thing applies to the backhand. So you'll go one, two, turn and swing, back again. Footwork number two would be a ball that's coming a little bit faster and pretty much in the same direction. So you'll use what I call the four step. And that'll be one, two, three, four and step in again. One, two, three, four and step in. And you will notice that I'm turning my shoulders with the first step, whereas with a shuffle, I wouldn't turn the first one, but on the second step, a little bit different. So four steps to the left, one, two, three, four, and swing. One, two, three, four, and swing. And you'll notice that the first step that I take, the outside step, will be uh, making sure you turn your shoulders at the same time. So your racket is uh, halfway back. The next step, the next uh, kind of footwork would be the three-step swivel, or as some pros like to do, a little bit of a jump. So you'll go one, two, three, and swivel, shuffle back, one, two, three, jump, cross over, shuffle back, one, two, three, shuffle back, one, two, three, shuffle back, and footwork number four will be hitting on the run. And this is where, when a person starts moving you around, you're on big defense, you'll have to hit a very good shot to neutralize. So, you'll go one, two, three, four, five, stop, cross over, and shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, stop, and shuffle. Backhand's exactly the same. You'll go one, two, three, four, five, cross over, one, two, three, four, five, cross over and shuffle. And that is how you move your feet laterally when you are moving from side to side. Hopefully that will help you because as you know, footwork is very important. The four basic fundamentals are watch the ball, move your feet, get in position, rack it back at the same time, and make sure you keep the ball in front of you. When you do that shuffle movement like this, the objective is to try and get directly behind the ball so you can step in to get full power movement. All right, so now we're gonna do uh, the four step, which is a faster ball coming the same, same uh, distance away. Go. Good. Very nice ball. Now here it comes now, three steps swivel. You're doing four steps beautifully. Three 
three-step swivel now. Three-step three swivel. That's it. Three-step swivel. Yeah. Right. It's a much faster ball. Most of the time it's deeper. Good. Good. Five yep. Step number four now, which is the five-step. Sorry. That's it. Good. Good. Turn your shoulders on your first step. Nice. Nice. Okay, now the key thing is now when you're on doing number three, number two and number four, you have to hit the ball where? Are you on defense now? No. Where is the best place to hit the ball when you're on defense? Cross court deep. Cross court deep, okay? 